press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi viewers, welcome to HVC Simplified Online Training Channel. Viewers, the today's topic of the day is how to calculate GPM for fan curl units and air handling unit. Today's video will be in English language for my English listeners who are requesting me to make my videos in English language also. So I'm going to make few videos in English for my English viewers also. And for my Hindi listeners, they can also watch the same videos in Hindi language. So the today's topic which we are going to discuss is chill water fan coil unit and air handling unit unit. So for any chill water air handling unit and air handling unit, you need to find the GPM depending on the design criteria. For any chill water fan coil unit and air handling unit, the following parameters are required which we can derive after getting the capacity of the fan coil unit and the air handling unit. Water is passed through the pipe which has flow in GPM and velocity in feet per second. For any chill water fan coil unit and air handling unit, you need to know these two parameters which is known as gallon per minute and feet per minute which has got a limitation based on the ASHRAE standards. Now the formula for the GPM is GPM is equal to TR into 12,000 divided by 500 into delta T. So this can be again derived as GPM is equal to TR into 24 divided by delta T. TR of fan coil unit and air handling unit which can be derived by the heat load calculation of any equipment or any system based on which you can get the TR of an any individual fan curl units and air handling unit. Delta T is equal to chill water return minus chill water supply. For any fan curl unit there will be a chill water supply side and chill water return. The chill water return from the fan curl unit or air handling unit and the chill water supply from the fan curl unit to or air handling unit. So these are the two important parameters where we need to have the both the supply and return temperatures. Now let us analyze with an example to find out how we can derive a GPM for any fan coil unit. So we are going to look into an example from which I am going to explain you how we can derive the capacity of a 5 ton fan coil unit. Now let us see that our capacity of fan coil unit is 5 TR. Now the another criteria which we need to know is the chill water return and the chill water supply. So here we can take the chill water return as 55 degree Fahrenheit and the chill water supply as 45 degree Fahrenheit. So the delta T chill water return minus chill water supply which we will be getting is 55 minus 45 which is equal to 10 degree Fahrenheit. So our delta T is 10. By using the same formula. GPM into TR into 24 by delta T, you can see 5 TR multiplied by 24 divided by 10 which is our delta T. So the GPM based on this formula is 12 GPM. So the required capacity for this particular fan coil unit for the GPM is 12. So this is the way you can derive either any GPM for any fan coil unit and air handling unit. So by changing the delta T and the parameters, your GPM will also change. Thank you very much viewers. I will be back with my...